You're kidding me. A TV executive. Producer. Hey, they grow on palm trees out there. It's the next job up after valet parking. Don't give me that. If for me, it was. I had a few lucky breaks. They don't give scholarships to film school for nothing. Go figure. I did already. I figure you're a guy who's on the way to the top. Oh, yeah. Upstairs, downstairs, roots, winds of war, endangered slackers. I saw that. <laughs> you did not. Yeah. Wasn't bad. Oh, Trevor, you're gonna have to get out of here pretty quick. Your brain turn into gel. So why, why are you interested in WRCW? Well, things dried up on the coast. Well, how bad? Parking valet? Worse. Liquid breaks. You're a sitcom. That's a class act. Yeah, it used to be. Now, now it's a dog. RCW's a shark tank. Yeah, well, I've been swimming with the sharks a while. Well, watch out for Liza Colby. She looks like an angelfish, but she's a barracuda underneath. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, thanks, but I'm, I'm pretty good at watching my back. You always were. Well, you had no choice. You didn't have much of a childhood. Uh, you know, Trask looked out for me and Myrtle, and you were right in there yourself. No parents? Raise yourself solo, pal. <sighs> Come on, it wasn't that bad. I mean, there were there were high points. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I miss Pine Valley. Oh, you really need help. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, not enough blondes for you out there. No, no, no. Always enough blondes. Not enough friends. I hear it's pretty friendly out there. Maybe not the right friends then. We're talking one in particular. Mm. One that almost broke your heart. Okay, I have a big surprise for you. We meet again. $16. House pate, $19.50. No, but toast must be a buck of flour. Ask me if I care. Get whatever you want. Let's go to the deli. <laughs> you think I'm going to let you put on your clothes? <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Take out a loan for a snack? Hey, we're, we're, we're fine. Thanks. Makes your wife hungry. Julia's probably munching the drapes by now. You may prefer some real food. Happy wedding night, love, Maria and Emily. Mm. I watched you with Sam for weeks. You never cared about Sam. People have more affection for their pets. I don't care if you believe me. You don't have to. You don't have any say. Really, like hell, I don't. He is my baby. You don't have a baby. You're infertile. That's enough. Mom, what's going on? She wants her baby back. You have no idea what it's like to carry a child, to go through the whole birth thing, to 
to look down at a little face that looks just like yours to feel what I feel. I know what you feel. I know that you feel deeply sorry for yourself. You feel sorry that you don't live in a great big house, and you feel sorry that you don't have servants waiting on you. You're so smug. You feel sorry that you don't have Edmund as a husband, and you feel sorry for yourself that Edmund doesn't love you. It is not Sam that you want. It is my life that you want, and it's because you don't have one. You know what? You're right. I may not have much. But I don't envy you, not one bit. I tried to help you. I really did. I even tried to hold back, but I couldn't. I couldn't let go of my son. I'm sorry, Maria. You can't have my baby. Get out of my house! Not without my baby! You're never gonna see your baby! It's my baby! Do you hear me? You are never in your life gonna lay eyes on my baby again. You're wrong! And Mateo's. Can you get me more cake? I guess I should have bought three pieces. Four, at least. <laughs> You're gonna have to get up soon, man. No handball. It's gonna start to show, Buddha. Hey. <laughs> See, something in there around all the time. You didn't want to get all the armor now you can get. So when are you getting sprung out of here anyway? Pronto, if I have my say. So I got a 4 one you. You can be pretty testy. Yeah, I like typical patients. Then you'll be delighted with Mr. Dillon. <laughs> well, uh, Pat is no good for recovery. I like a fighter. Give me a fighter any day of the week. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one. You remember Rat Fingers? Professor Rat Fingers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, after three semesters. Uh, nobody ever gets to me. <laughs> Hi. Patient wants to know so when you he's you, uh, college, buddy? Yeah, Brad Phillips. This is my brother-in-law, Trevor Dillon. Well, hey, I hear you're experiencing Join the party, the more the merrier. And uh, this is Haley Vaughn, Trevor's niece. Hi. Hi. How are you? And I'm sorry, uh, Brian Bodine, just passing through. Michael Dillon. Right. Maybe or maybe not. If this is a bad time, uh, we could get a suite. I mean, we got standing room only in here right no, now. No, 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 wait, no. Four is company, six is a crowd. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go reserve a handball court. Don't waste your breath. I won't take no. Oh, Bet on it, pal. Trev. He's too tough. <laughs> okay, All right. Bring me more cake. I will. I've shared your chart with Dr. Phillips. That's nice. My kid says you're some kind of genius. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Simple truth. How come I can't walk? Give it to me straight. You got everybody's attention. You happy now? I'm not going to be happy until I get my baby back. Well, then you're going to wait a long time. Well, I'm really sorry that you feel this way. This has got nothing to do with you or your reptile wife. All I care about is my baby. All right, then. Why not take some time to think this through? Grandpa, thing? what do you think that I've been doing these last months? Why have I not left town? Because of some dumb put-down I haven't heard yet? No, because of my son. You never asked to see him. Because I was afraid, too. Afraid of what? Of this. Of everybody against me. Everybody holding my own son hostage. You can't take him. I'm taking him back. And I want him. I want him now. Where is he? Um, 
the best is yet to come. To our future. And, and the family. Yours plus mine equals ours. And to, 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 to our children. Maybe I'll have your hair. <laughs> Let them all have hair. And may they all find their soulmates, just like we did. But skip the two years of struggle. Hmm? Oh, and here's to your career. The one that's just about to start. And to yours. Hmm. Oh, and to all of our wonderful friends. Let them all be happy tonight. I could keel any second. Uh, no. No, you're being monitored. Um, autonomic dyslexia would certainly catch. Then what? Then we treat it. And I'd walk. And also live. So this automatic is whatever thing it is. It's it's just a uh, series of possibilities, including spinal shock, spinal contusion, microscopic bone fragments. Swelling of the tissue around the spine. Wouldn't all this stuff show up on an MRI, though? Not necessarily. Oh, this is getting better and better. Uh, well, the good news is they're all temporary. Um, same as spinal compression and ischemia. It's a lack of blood flow. So what? I'm just supposed to wait here till you guys narrow it down? Mm. You could do that. Uh, I wouldn't, if I were you. Best thing is get right to work. Motorized chair lessons? Physical therapy. Dr. Phillips directs a rehab facility. Jacobson Institute in Center City. Interested? Can I leave tonight? First thing in the a.m. I don't know, Brian. It's really weird to see him lying there like that. I mean, normally he can't sit still. He looks fantastic. You really think so? Yeah. I mean, some people, one look, you know you're home. had a really hard time this year. Yeah, I know, I know. But he's still the essential Trevor. Yeah, but it's really weird seeing him in there so helpless. Oh, come on. When was the last time your uncle was helpless? I mean, the man's the definition of tough. Got through your little Morticia phase, didn't he? <laughs> he'll tackle this like he tackles everything else. And he'll beat it. 